Good day, YouTube. It's how we do all doing. Hope everyone's keeping well. Uh, this is just the uh, the now nearly complete, ninety five percent complete uh, Cascade Town uh, on the Cascade Railroad sub. So, just a little bit of a brief walk around. Uh, these two tracks here, here, are now going to be combust tracks. These two here, with another two off spots here for cabooses so I've worked out how to get your cabooses on there now jobs are good I'll just move down here so you can get a, a full layout so basically where the controller is I've uh, rearranged the uh, the yard uh, somebody from the our local club or my local club I should say uh, was saying use a uh, medium medium turnout wherever you can so i have i've rearranged the yard so i've now got two basically two arrival and departure tracks here uh run under the command control unit because i've just been running a train just to, to test it uh so i've now got uh, two arrival and departure tracks which i'm going to use one as yard track three uh and have two stub ended yard tracks on the back next to this little where are you? This little thing here. Them two tracks there are going to be tracks uh, three and four. Moving up here. The uh, main difference is uh, uh, the mill track. I've redesigned the mill track, as you can see. Um, it's a little bit uh, more curved and a little bit uh, a little bit different. So basically, uh, I'll just put that down. And grab a pen there you go uh, this little track here I've uh, got some new curves in so I can get a longer a longer flat car which I am going to mainly use the 60 footers bulkheads but I've got some 40 footers so I can get more of them in here but the problem is as you can see uh, it runs over the end of the uh, the tracks that I was going to use for the sawdust and the uh, loadout tracks uh, for the mill so I'm going to redesign that one. That track won't be there. It's just going to move over where this box is here. With a turn out there. I'm just going to put a, a half inch nine inch radius there. Right under in. And then bring it along here. And have the mill sitting in between now. Uh, the other main thing is uh, here. I'll move the pin out the way. Here was a uh, heavy oil track. Uh, for fuel, uh, lube oil and propane I'm now going to put that in a different town which is five miles up the road called Ulm uh, which is going to sit roughly uh, about here on the way to staging which is going to be on this back wall uh, yeah so you'll come out the north side of town here uh, on this track here which is the main out which is going to run under a mountain where the bag is it'll run around the back up a slight incline past the southbound uh, track which is going to go round a little helix around the mountain up onto Hardy which is here which I'll get round to uh, sorting out once I've uh, clagged these posts to the wall and secured them so I can get the next uh, level on uh, yeah so it's pretty much happy days so like I said before there's another one of these to go at the back the barrel factory uh, on the warehouse one warehouse two track uh, which is also going to be a bit of a lead for the elevator and the cattle dock which I can either access from the left end over here or the lead industry lead here come down this turnout here onto that one uh, these two turnouts are purely for the lumber pulpwood uh, I was wanting this one to service the cattle dock and the elevator which is down there so I can be off off the main line which is this one here where the power leads are clipped onto uh, and I can still or still be shunted and serviced while leaving the main open uh, like I say, the other main thing is uh, here next to the shovel handle, 
uh, I've now put another track in. Uh, this is going to be uh, a cold storage facility, which is going to be modelled by a loading dock, and then that's going to be the lead. So I've now shortened the coal, the coal dock down, or which will be the coal dock. I'm going to put trestle instead of a coal yard because I'm putting foam on. So I thought I'll cut it out. Uh, so there'll be enough there to unload probably four cars and then have off spot for another three or four cars there and then I can sort them over as time needs and bring them back round. So yeah, so I'm quite happy with this. Like I say, I'm just gonna document it with a few uh, with a few photos and then uh, it'll be a case of taking it all up and then uh, once me flexi tracks come, because I'm putting flexi track in all, all these yards here, where the controller is, yard track one, two, uh, three and four, like I said before, are now going to be uh, technically uh, double ended. So I could use them as both arriving departure tracks, but I want to keep four uh, really as the main one because it will be the caboose track access only. So it needs to be kept relatively free. So happy days. Uh, as you can see, that's going to be station track two. Uh, that is long enough to get a, a six car six car train in there with the, the overland coaches on which I've got there will be a station in this part here which will be the same uh, style as these little resin buildings I got which I'm now going to use as a, a postal postal sortage, sortage. Uh, the right one will be for northbound post southbound post and then local post uh, as I'm modeling a little bit of a uh, mix between CP GN uh, basically anything modelers uh, modelers license kind of thing but it will connect the uh, the northbound track here does actually run up to uh, Great Falls uh, which in the grand scheme of things in the story won't get much freight from up there but it'll mostly be from uh, Canada uh, I think it runs up to Shelby, I think it is. I'm not quite sure, but there we go. I will have to double check on that. But it's one of the towns that connects to CP and CN anyway. So I'll be able to bring uh, northbound freights and passenger services and uh, mail, which will be sorted in this little facility here and then sent on elsewhere around the layout. So hopefully when you come back, uh, it'll look rather much pink uh, a little bit more raised up uh, I'll have more track on it and then uh, hopefully it'll look a lot better than this so once again stay safe I hope everybody's uh, enjoying modelling and uh, like you say keep two metres apart six foot wherever you are and uh, yeah that's about it uh, hope everybody's enjoying the time off well can't do much else can we so there we go Right, stay safe everyone, have a good day, bye bye.